hi guys welcome to my youtube channel please like subscribe and comment this is biology paper for form 3 and term 1 2024 identify the apparatus shown above so that diagram shows the apparatus you're supposed to identify it the name of the apparatus is specimen botro why is it advisable to have the apparatus made of glass? It's because glass is easy to clean and also it's very visible. State the use of the following apparatus. We have a pair of forceps. It's used for holding, stinging or biting insects. And then you have bait trap. It is used to trap small animals in a trap. And then chloroform, it's used to immobilize mobile animals when you're correcting specimen. Number two, you, number three now, the following characteristics differ in plants and in animals. So in nutrition, now you are supposed to base your characteristics uh, depending on what you've been given there. So you differentiate the plant and animal. Nutrition, plants have autotrophic nutrition where animals are heterotrophic. Movement of parts, uh, the plants move parts where animals move from one part to another. Excretion, plants lack complex excretory organs where in animals, animals have complex excretory organ. For the plant, growth occur at localized places, uh, normally at the meristematic tissues. In animals, growth occur all over. Uh, we have this in an experiment to investigate the aspects of digestion. Two test tubes A and B were set up in the diagram below. So the setup, first of all, was uh, starch and saliva. And the setup B, there was a water bath maintained at that 7 degrees Celsius, and then starch and boiled saliva. So you are told the test tube be are left in the water for about 30 minutes. And then the context of each boiling tube, a uh, test tube was tested for starch using iodine solution. So what was the aim of the experiment? It is to investigate the effect of temperature on enzyme activity. Remember, in starch you have enzyme amylase. What result was expected in test tube A and test tube B? In test tube A, you expected to have a brown color of iodine solution uh, to remain because starch is absent. While in uh, test tube B, a blue-black color would be there because enzyme amylase will be uh, denatured because you have boiled saliva there. How was the experiment uh, set up maintained at 37 degrees Celsius? That is to provide optimum temperature for the enzyme. Most enzymes work best at 37 degrees Celsius. So what is the role of cristae in respiration? This one are the inner folding of the mitochondria. It increases the surface area for attachment of respiratory enzymes. Give an equation to show the respiration, uh, that a respiration involves oxidation of food stuff. So it is glucose plus oxygen to give carbon dioxide, water, and energy. That is the equation for respiration, aerobic respiration in that matter. Name the end products of the Krebs cycle, that is carbon dioxide, water, and energy. So there you've been given the diagram of starch, uh, the diagram that represents the section through a mammalian skin. So you have part S, that is uh, labeled there, part U, part Q, and part R. So what is the function of S? S is the upper part of the skin, the epidermis. It protects the skin against mechanical injury or even against entry of bacteria and fungal infection. Says the physiological changes that would occur if the following structures, if the environmental temperature was raised gradually from 22 to 40, that means the temperature has increased from 22 to 40. R, R is the one that secretes sweat it's the sweat gland so it will produce more sweat temperature has increased anyway q it will dilate for more blood to flow near the the skin surface so 
Q is a blood vessel, uh, the vessel dilate. Number seven, you have state three external features that are found in mammals only. Of course, they have mammary glands, they have fur, and then they have external ear or pin. Then the next question is you differentiate between chilopoda and diplopoda in relation to their genital aperture and the division of the body. So for chilopoda, the body is divided into head, thorax, and trunk. For diplopoda, the body is divided into head and trunk. Uh, for the chilopoda, anterior genital aperture, and then for diplopoda, they have posterior genital aperture. So renti cells are sites for gas exchange in wood stem. Explain why there is no intake of carbon dioxide occurring through them. So cells beneath the renti cells, they do not photosynthesize or they do not carry out photosynthesis. So they only take in oxygen for respiration and therefore they give out carbon dioxide. Name the state the name given to the study of cells that is cytology. Uh, then you have chemical reaction in living organisms. It's called biochemistry. And then explain the why palisade layer in leaves of green plants is considered to be a tissue. It's because it's made of a group of similar cells that perform the same function. Name the tissue that transport oxygen in mammals. Now here it's not about the cell but the tissue blood tissue tissue that facilitate uh, gas exchange in ribs a spongy mesophyll tissue uh, stay the roles of the following rhizobium it converts nitrogen into nitrates nitrobacter it converts nitrites to nitrates and then the obacillus denitrificans it's used in denitrification yes uh, or converts the nitro the nitrates back to nitrogen the diagram shows a female cone you are told to name the division subdivision in which the cone was obtained it's definitely gymnospermae or gymnospermatophyta other than the presence of cones named to other external features that identify plants in that subdivision it's presence of uh, needle-like ribs the coaxi cuticle and then sunken stomata 